Software like Trello, Monday, and Asana can have some pretty hefty pricing. So in this video, I'll show you how to use Focal Board to keep your wallet. All right, to get started with Focal Board, you need to go to your web browser of choice. In my case, it is Firefox on Linux. And you need to go to your search engine of choice. In this case, it will be Google for me. And you just want to type in Focal Board. And then it will either return it with github.com uh, matter most and then slash focal board or you will get focalboard.com. I prefer downloading directly from github and then on the right you have a releases panel It says 85 releases at the time of uploading this it might be more uh, By the time you're seeing this and then you want to download the version of focal board for your operating system I'm pretty sure currently it only supports Windows and Linux so this will not work on Mac and then you need to download the version for your choice. So if you're on Windows, you would download focalboard-win.zip. And in my case, since I'm on Linux, I would download focalboard-linux.tar.gz. Uh, and then just click on that and it will start the download. Now that download pretty quick for me. And then you want to go into your files, the place where you downloaded the zip. And then you just want to extract here or extract wherever you like. I just prefer doing the extract here operation and then that extract it quickly. And then you want to click on the folder and then click on focal board dash app. And then it will be called focal board dash app. And you can just double click on that to start it up. And then I like to go full screen with this. And this is not actually any of the boards, this is just templates. So you can create a new board just by going to create empty board, or you could use one of these templates. I will use the create empty board just so I get a little bit more control. And then this is where the magic actually happens. So the UI is fairly simple. You have the uh, like viewer, whatever it's called on the left. It just contains all your boards and their views. Uh, and then in the center, this is the currently selected view. In this case, it's a board view. You can also have things like uh, calendars, galleries, table, uh, and of course board views. And then you can just give this board a name. So let's just call it like to do or tasks for today. And then you can create a new group and you can call this group like to do now to do later and another one just like to do tomorrow or something like that and then this one is a little odd i don't like this no status zero one so i like to hide that just so i get a little bit more control over the groups i do have and then you can assign colors to your groups just by going to the three dots let next to the plus sign and then just clicking the color so let's say to do now is a little bit more urgent so i'm gonna make that red to do later is a little bit less urgent but still kind of urgent so i'm gonna set to orange and then to do tomorrow that can be green since it's not exactly that urgent and then to create new items you just go to the group you want to create an item in and then just press new it will give you an icon you can pick an uh, icon just like an emoji or something you can also remove the icon as far as i know there is not a way to add the icon back once you delete it and then you can just give your uh item a title so let's just say i need to record a video about focal board and this is my to do now since i'm currently doing it and then you can add properties by default it has a description property but you can also add like a checkbox property and you can call this like uh let's just say using obs studio and i can like set that to checked and you can have like urls and dates and multi selects in here it's pretty versatile I, I would say it's even more versatile than trello and then you can also add descriptions now i'm pretty sure this supports standard markdown so you can just like say using obs studio make sure there's a space after the dash and you can say like open source software and then it will actually format it correctly once you enter the item now and then to move the item to different groups you just click on it and then drag it to the group you want to move it to and then it will drag it and drop it there now that is pretty much it for the kanban board but you can also have things like uh calendars now this calendar is a little bit more clunkier to use it shows what you need to do but in order to actually get it to a specific date you need to click on the item and then add a property and then select date so i might need to change this date to something okay my focal board has frozen up all right so i am back focal board does auto save so you don't have to worry about losing progress now to add in a date you just add the date property and then select the date uh, I'm just gonna set it to like Thursday or I could even set it to the end of the month and then it will appear for that date 
Uh, you can also move it around in the calendar view if you want to assign a specific date to it. Now, those are pretty much the only two views you will actually be using often. Now, there's other ones like table views here, but they're not really as useful. In galleries, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, just like a notes kind of thing. Not really as useful as the campaign and the calendar, but still pretty useful if you use them correctly. Now, this is open source software, so if you're not a big fan of open source software for whatever reason, then you should stay away. But other than that, you should definitely give this a try. It could replace things like Trello, Asana, Monday.com, pretty much anything. Uh, and it works, and that's important, because I tried to make a planning software and it did not work. Um, so that's it for this video. If you found it informative, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Helps out channel, helps get content like this, recommend others. I now have a Patreon, patreon.com slash funuber. The link will also be in the description. That's all from me for now. Funuber out.